Okay, we're going to do, or try, another photo stamping piece. And what I'm going to do on this one is to stamp something out that may not be the ideal type of image to use on a photograph because it's the image is a little bit more open okay instead of uh, being something uh, like a silhouette that easily covers um, the photograph where the image exists and the image that I'm going to be using is this covered bridge piece that has a lot of deciduous types of uh, trees in it uh, the bridge itself is kind of a wide open type of image and what I mean by that is it's just not solid it's not like a solid silhouette so you'll see um, the cloud formations and texturing that exists on the photograph showing right through the image where um, it's just not solid all right so let's take a look at it here
All right, so I don't know. I, I'm really pleasantly surprised with photo stamping. Now this photo stamping piece took a little bit longer. Again, I'm f trying to figure things out from scratch, but I really put a lot of time into the coloring where I don't have some ex other examples right here on my desk, but if you're working with silhouettes, you're just going, you're going with dark against light. Well, on this impression uh, stamp here, we have a lot of open area in here to fill in, okay? So I thought it handled the, uh, the inks beautifully in terms of the application of the dye-based inks and then the coloring in with additional um, hue, um, coloring, and shading using the alcohol pens. On top of that, the gel pen inks for the highlighting portion went on there beautifully. And of course, what I've found in the past with the pigment ink, it really applies nicely over this um, paper. Uh, this one, uh, it's in Walgreens on my other one, so I don't know where this came from, but um, I don't know. All the techniques look pretty good. One thing that I found just now was if you apply too much pigment ink, I, maybe you can take like a blender pen, but I just went in with some of that brownish tinged color and just knocked that back a little bit. There was a little bit too much um, kind of misty area in there that kind of kept spreading out that I couldn't get out of there because the surface is a little bit sticky here so I'll have to spray this with a very light um, maybe workable fixative I don't know I could try the Krylon UV um, resistant clear too and see if that kind of fixes everything but I imagine like a couple days of uh, letting this set up will dry it sufficiently but who knows all right, so anyways, hope you enjoyed the scene. If you like this video, hope you like, share, and subscribe. Gets a little bit more traffic to my little channel here. Um, and with as far as the scene goes, and photo stamping, I'd really recommend you try it out. Um, I'll, I need to put a link down into my uh, photographs. There's a lot of other photographs out there that are a lot better than mine, but I do have a Flickr gallery um, full of, you know, full resolution um, background skies and clouds that you're more than welcome to um, download and print out and to try this technique out. I'll try to get a lo little bit more variation up there. I'll have to take my camera out and uh, take a lot more photographs for this purpose because it is way too much fun to uh, to employ and uh, to kind of experiment around with. And again, with for me, I'm sure I'm just scratching the surface as far as the possibilities with this uh, kind of technique and methodology. So anyways, thanks again for tuning into the channel. If you have any questions, drop us a note in the comments section.